Hello everyone, uh, in this video we will see the animation of the two signals. One of the signal is amplitude shift king, another is frequency shift king signal. To know the amplitude shift king signal, you know like we have the message signal and this is nothing but the analog to digital converter of the uh, message sinusoidal signal. So we will have the stems of bit of the message signal and for that uh, digital signal we will modulate the carrier signal. Modulation could be the either way, like uh, when you have the bit 0, then you will not pass the carrier. When you have bit 1, then you will pass the carrier signal. You could do the either way also, like uh, uh, when we have bit uh, 0, then we can pass the carrier, carrier signal. When we have bit 1, then we cannot pass the carrier signal. So either way we can do. So this modulation we will try to plot on the canvas using the JavaScript. And for the frequency, uh, frequency shift king, we will have the two frequency here. For the carrier uh, one with the high and one with the low frequency and for the bit one will assign the high frequency and for the bit uh, bit low will pass the low frequency and here also we can do the either way like for the bit one we can pass the low frequency and for the bit low we can pass the high frequency so this animation also we will try to put on canvas using the javascript so let's flip to the vs code and here i'll add the file that is shift king dot html and we'll write the html tag uh, let's change the title so it is shift king signals and let's go to the body tag and first i want to add the canvas element with the id as canvas and below the canvas i will take the script tag so script type will be equals to the text slash javascript and uh, Inside that we write the logic. So first I need a few constant variables. So constant canvas that is equal to document dot get element by id and uh, this element by id it is id is canvas and the context I need to draw the animation. So context equals canvas dot get uh, context and that is 2D and the width and height of the canvas I want the entire window width and height. So width equals the window dot inner width and the height equals the window dot inner height inner height so let's say the width and height of the canvas so canvas dot width equals the width what we have got and the canvas dot height equals the height of the what we window height and then can the background color of the canvas i want in the black so uh, background equals black Okay, let's set. Uh, let's check if it is fine. So I will open in the side preview panel, and you can see. Yeah, then the uh, the canvas is set with the black color. So we have a small margin here. You can see that is around eight pixel, uh, which will come with the default in the body tag. So we'll remove that too. So can document dot body dot style dot margin that will be equals to zero. You can see now we don't have any margin at the top. So this is fine now let's draw the animations for the first i need the message signal so uh, let's take the variables here variables and the, if to draw the message signal uh, what i'll do i'll take one variable here that is a uh, uh, message bit array and that inside that will add the 8 bit 0 and 1s and uh, uh, then we'll draw that so let's take that first first where uh, message bits that is equals to array and then bits are 1 0 1 1 1 1 one, then 0 0 and then 1 so these are the 8 bits say okay and then when we have message bit 8 then the size of the size of the uh, bit size will be for each individual bit to draw on the canvas so the bit size will be equals to the total width of the canvas divided by the message bit dot length uh, let's take the bit index also so bit index equals to zero to get the position of uh, each bits from this array and the uh, what we'll do so we'll uh, we'll set up this uh, uh, bits uh, into one of the object that is say map object that is equal to the new map so what it will do is you can see the map is nothing but the key value pair so you will have the key and for the respective key you can take the value so in my case so what i'll take so key will be nothing but the time position uh, that is x values and with with that x value will i will set the value as the number of what bit value i have so whether it is zero and one based on the bit size okay so we'll take that one so let's take the variable for that so t is nothing but uh, 
and that is t equals to 0 and then the increment by, by, uh, by what uh, step will take the exposition so that is uh, increment uh, increment step step equals to the one so yeah we took the variables so let's create one function here uh, let me wrap this here uh, okay now create the function function to set up the uh, map object okay so function uh, initialize in the initialize uh, map object object uh, that is object uh, on that this function here will first will take the for loop and inside that uh, since already we have taken the t equals to 0 so no need to take uh, uh, let uh, t equals to 0 again so t already we have taken here so then we'll set the we'll compare t should be less than the total width of the canvas then the t should be equals to the increment should be equals to the incremental step and we'll compare what the position of the t is if the t is greater than or equals to the index uh, uh, sorry bit index bit index times the bit size bit size and the t should be less than the bit index plus one times the bit size then uh, we'll set the uh, we'll set the map object so uh, map object dot set and that the key value key, key value will be our t and the value will be nothing but the message bits of of bit index if not then we'll increment the uh, we will increment the bit, uh, uh, bit index so else the bit index plus plus so this is done this will initialize this uh, map object so let's call this function at the top here so that so that it first it will get initialized so uh, initialize the map object we'll call that and let's draw that here in the below to by drawing function so function to draw the message signal signal so function draw message signal and here we'll take the for loop so for constant so we'll loop all the uh, of the key, all the key value pair of this uh, uh, map object right so constant uh, k of uh, map object map object dot keys so keys keys will give me the all the key value present inside the map object and we'll check if the map object dot get of key if it is equals to the zero bit low bit then we'll draw the uh, one line at the some position right so let's take one more variable here that is the y offset what i'll do i'll the height of this canvas i'll divide in the three rows and for uh, for that rows uh, for the first rows i'll draw the message signal and the second rows i'll draw the uh, amplitude and the third rows i'll draw the uh, frequency so let's take that variable here so that is y position offset that is equals to the uh, the height of the canvas divided by 3 okay so that is fine so let's take that here here I uh, will draw that so for context dot uh, begin path and here the context dot uh, the uh, since we will draw the circle for to draw the point so it will be the arc and uh, the position will be the k and the y position will be nothing but the y position offset and minus the y position offset by 2 then the radius will be 2 and the starting angle 0 and angle 2 times math dot pi math dot pi and okay so then context dot fill to draw the point and the context dot close path let's set the color of the canvas here so sorry color of the point so context on uh, dot fill style that is nothing but the white in color so let's call this function below at the dawn and we'll see the signal is drawing perfectly here and let's check yeah you can see uh, for the bit low it is drawn here right now we'll draw for the bit one so else the same thing we'll do here We'll copy and paste here and uh, here we since when we, when we have bit one then in this case uh, we will uh, will draw the uh, higher bit at the certain higher value right in the certain top level so let's give that offset say it is 50 pixel 
okay so now you can see this is my bit 1 this is bit 0 then bit 1 bit 1 bit 1 then bit 0 bit 0 then bit 1 so this is doing fine so let me do one more thing here i drop the axis here with a different color in a thin line to make this is an axis for me so here below let's take that context dot uh, stroke style is equals to the uh, width and the uh, we'll move we'll connect we'll connect the line right so context dot uh, move to and that is uh, zero uh, comma then the y offset position minus y offset position by two and the uh, yeah and then they will connect to line it is uh, context dot line to it is uh, the width of the canvas and then y position minus y position offset by two and then finally we'll stroke it so context dot stroke so we'll see that now so width of the canvas y position minus line 2 uh, move to line 2 y position offset by 2 then width equals total width y position offset minus yeah this will be by 2 yeah fine so you can see now the axis is drawn here and this is the my bit 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 okay so with this respective of this uh, message signal we will draw the now the ASK signal so let's get the function for that here so ASK signal and the function ASK signal and here we'll take the same thing we'll loop through the we'll copy this content from here copy and insert that we'll do the editing so the axis will be here since uh, now the uh, this will draw in the second uh, row right of the of y offset so this will be two times the y offset and this also will be the two times the y offset now the the for the for the bit low you can see here for the bit low will not have the oh, sorry so for the amplitude signal for the bit low will not have the signal plotted for the bit one the signal will be plotted right so for the bit low so what we'll do uh, will not give any offset so will not have any changes it will be uh, minus uh, that zero only so that is fine and for the this will be the y position will be the two times the offset minus uh, offset by two that is fine now for the bit one we'll have the uh, sinusoidal wave right this one so let's take that one so here inside that minus 50 times the math dot sign math dot sign and uh, it is 2 pi math dot pi times times the time interval so so t is nothing but so it is t equals to uh, equals to you can say uh, t times so here we'll increment the t value so let's take the another value here so uh, here below uh, that t we are taking so we'll increment that t uh, let's take the another this is nothing but frequency for me so let's take that frequency variable here at the top to this because t variable already we have taken so let's take that another variable here so uh, f equals to zero that is frequency for me and we'll multi we'll take that frequency here right so here uh, instead of uh, 2 pi ft so it will be 2 pi f so that is frequency for me and here when it is bit uh, 0 then frequency will set to 0 but in case of v2 1 will increment, inc increase the frequency so frequency plus equals say 1 by 50 okay and let's call this function below now so I think the editing is done let's call this function below here we will call this function I can see uh, we have some error the element root so we'll check uh, what error we have so i'll open this in the uh, browser and we'll check if we have some error A syntax server i will reload this one more time say so out in the out of input script tag is not in correctly so we'll check we have missed so this is fine this is fine so this is we have unexpected so here uh, this is closing fine and then this is you know, here we have to take a note so now it is fine so now you can see uh, it is drawing fine uh, but the offset we have not given correctly for this uh, signal right so we'll take the signal here so two times the signal 
proposition. Now you can see for the bit one we have this uh, sinusoidal wave plotted, and for the bit uh, low we do not have the sinusoidal wave plotted. So ESK is done. Now let's move to the FSK signal. So let's get the function FSK signal. The function FSK signal. And here we will draw that. Oh, sorry. And yeah, here we will draw that. So same thing, we will copy this content from here and to here. And this time the y offset will be three times, right? So it is three times. This is also three times. And here you can see for the uh, uh, for case of fre uh, frequencies, if we have the two frequency, right? One with the low, one with the high. So two signal we have to draw here. So we'll go here and inside the uh, this also will be the other frequency. So what we'll do, we'll copy this content, okay, in this f and uh, we'll be placed here for the y offset position. So it is uh, minus 50 times the uh, the sinusoidal wave. So this time the frequency, uh, see, it will not be set to zero, we'll increment it. So we'll go, uh, that is plus equals to say one over 50 and this will make it as 1 over 32 so and this will be the offset will be the three times and here also the offset will be the three times okay now everything looks fine let's call this function below okay uh, you can see yeah you can see the signal is plotted fine and for the bit low we have the low frequency for the bit high we have the high frequency it is fine now let's give the animation to this signal so for that what i'll do i'll take the phase difference and that phase dif when we add the phase difference to this math signal and we will increment the phase difference angle then it will give me the new uh, point right every time when we will call this signal so let's take that too so here uh, i'll take one variable here say phase difference uh, that is equals to zero okay and uh, will pass that phase difference to this function and uh, to this function ASK, ASK signal so that is phase and we'll add inside the sine wave function so uh, we have passed here you can see here uh, for the ASK we have passed and we'll add inside that uh, uh, sine function so uh, 2 pi uh, frequency plus the phase difference so that is phase we'll add here and same thing we'll do for the FSK so let's pass the phase difference and here for the math uh, sine function, we'll add the here phase difference. So plus phase difference. And for this, uh, another wave also plus phase. And uh, uh, let's uh, uh, let's take the loop function here. So function uh, function loop. And uh, we'll uh, first we'll clear the canvas. So context dot clear it, and then zero comma zero the width of the canvas and the height of the canvas. And below we'll call these three functions. So we'll copy and inside this. Okay. And uh, below I uh, will call the request animation frame, and the callback function is loop. And let's call the loop function once in the below. So loop. Let's check if it is fine. You can see, but the signal is still not drawing because we have not passed the. Uh, we have not passed the uh, phase difference here right so let's pass the phase difference so phase difference and here also the phase difference so phase difference so now you can see those two signals are plotted but we don't have animation so what we'll do as soon as we'll increment the phase difference by certain value so plus equals say 0 0.05 and then you can see the animation now so this is the animation now guys and uh, this is you can see uh, the ASK signal is uh, plotting fine and the FSK signal is also plotting fine. So this was the uh, animation and thank you for watching this video.